Hello, my name is Zan, and today let's do an instruction on how to install Tor Recovery and custom ROMs on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, I've been showing a lot of MIUI ROMs and you know, AOSP ROM for the, the Note 5, but I actually have never done an instruction how to do it because you know, without that, then you know, all these videos would be possible. So, anyways, let's get started. Alright, so first, before we jump into any sort of instructions, let me step you through all the stuff that you need for this, uh, uh, you know, procedure. Now, the first is obviously a computer, because you do need a computer for ADB and fast food and all of the twerp uh, installation and stuff. The next is obviously a Redmi Note 5 Pro. Uh, but the thing here is that you do need to unlock the bootloader on the Note 5 Pro prior to this. Alright, uh, you can go to the Me Unlock site, with, which I put in the description down below, which will guide you step by step on how to unlock the bootloader. It does take like, quite a lot of time though, so um, you know, be patient. Uh, the next, next up, you do need a few programs on your computer. Uh, the first is the Torp, the Torp Recovery Flasher, which is an all-in-one tool for installing pretty much every single type of twerp recovery like uh, twerp or uh, red wolf or pitch black. Um, it's also MIUI ADB driver which is very useful for connecting for communication between your computer and your Note 5 Pro in a fast boot mode. And there's also the Android SDK, which is a very typical Android package for you know, phone to PC, PC you know, recognition. Next up, you need some very necessary files. The first is gotta be the ROM. Um, you can use something like MIUI EU, which I uh, had a speed test on, or some other AOSP ROMs like Linux OS, Havoc OS, or Pixel Experience. Um, in this in this particular video, we're going to check it out. Check out the Mo Key OS, which is a very new ROM. Um, thumbs up if you want a review for that. I basically get the product, get that ROM, and then you do need OpenGX, which is a Google package for installing many uh, all all of the Google apps that uh, you all know and love. Um, just go to the website and make sure to select the ARM64, Android 10, and the Nano package. Don't get the older, heavier ones though. Uh, the next, uh, I guess, is if you want some additional stuff like root um, with uh, particular images, you can also uh, download uh, the latest images. Uh, the current one right now is 20.3. Um, and last but not least, you do need the DM Verity Disabler, which is very use, very critical, very need necessary if you're on a newer version of the UI. Anyways, with that all that ready, let's begin. First thing you need to do on your Note 5 Pro is to enable USB debugging. Um, now, if you're on MIUI, you can go into the About Phone sections and find the build number and then tap on it for 7 times, uh, which will enable the developer options. Go out, go into More Options, uh, Developer Options, and then enable USB Debugging. Um, next up, uh, on your computer, you need to install the ADB driver and the Android SDK. Now that is a so it is a driver. Uh, you do need to um, disable the driver signature enforcement on your Windows PC, uh, which is still pretty easy to do. Um, just go into settings and uh, do the steps that I put on the screen. Next up, it is this. The step is pretty critical. You do need to check for a MIUI version that you're running on. Um, if you're on MIUI 9.5 based on Nougat, uh, you do need to follow the different step. If you're on MIUI 10 or 11 on uh, based on Oreo or Pi, there's a different step for that. But that is for a later uh, process. Uh, now next up, uh, you need to you need, you need, obviously need to transfer the ROM, GApp, and a DM Verity disabler to your phone. Uh, you can use a micro SD card uh, for that since the phone does support one. Um, next up, reboot your phone into fast boot mode. Now it is a bit of more practice, but basically 
turn off your phone and then push and then uh, press the power and the volume down button at the same time. And then uh, the phone will boot into a screen called fast boot mode with a little me bunny and the Android uh, fixing an Android. At this point, at this point, you need to connect your phone to your PC and make sure that the, that, that the PC recognizes it. Um, and then you need to go ahead and find the talk flasher that I told you to download earlier. Extract it. There will be a folder. Open the, and then you're gonna, you're gonna need to open the program as an administrator. Now this is the part where the MIUI version kind of comes in. If you're running on MIUI 9.5 based on uh, Nougat, you, you, the only thing you need to do here is type six and enter. Alright, this will just gonna uh, flash to the top recovery, and then it will reboot. Uh, uh, and then it will automatically reboot into a total recovery. Now, if, if there's an additional step, just type any key on the keyboard. Um, and then just need to swipe to, uh, just swipe fully on the on-screen instruction on your phone. Uh, swipe to allow modification, and then just uh, flash the DM Verity disabler. Now, if you want the uh, newer version of MIUI, like MIUI 10 or MIUI 11. Um, it is a more of a, of a complication. Uh, first, first and foremost, um, type three, which is the ARB checker. Um, ARB stands for anti rollback protection, by the way. And then, um, if the the, the result is anti minus four uh, equals four or anything that has a four in it, which means that your phone at the, 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 that the Note Five is uh, anti rollback protection. I protect it, so you have you. So you need to unlock it. Uh, just type uh, four and then uh, hit the enter. Alright, that way it will um, get rid of all of the uh, anti rollback protection, which is going to be very uh, mandatory. And then uh, this, is, this this step is a, a lot more uh, freedom, a lot more freedom because you do have four different types of recovery to choose from. Yeah, yeah, you either have uh, five, which is um, installing the official twerp, seven, which is the unofficial twerp, eight, uh, which is the uh, red roof recovery, or nine is the pitch black recovery. Uh, choose the other, either one that you want. Uh, in this case, um, we're going to choose the five here because you know it's the one that we've been using for uh, the past uh, month or so. And then, uh, so go ahead and type on number you want. I will enter and then it will automatically reboot to recovery. At this point, swipe to allow modification and then do the above step which is the which is flashing DM Verity disabler. And at, the, at this point you're pretty much good to go. You have now you now have 12 recovery on the Note 5 Pro. And then now let's move on to the wrong part. Uh, go ahead and wipe the internal storage by going to wipe and format data. Okay, format data. And this will obviously wipe all the wipe the phone storage or wipe everything on your phone. So make sure to back up as I mentioned before. And then uh, go ahead and tap on install and locate the SD card by tapping on select image, micro SD, and um, locate the ROM and go ahead and tap on flash. And then at this point, if you are if you uh, if you flash like MIUI EU for example, you can just go ahead and reboot. But if you uh, if you want to install something like Linux OS or Havoc OS, and you want and uh, it doesn't have a, a Google apps included, you might have to reboot your recovery and uh, install all of the uh, G app obviously. And optionally, if you want uh, root, you can install Images twenty point three. And basically it. Go ahead and tap on reboot system and you are good to go. Now keep in mind that rebooting for the first time might take longer than usual. Uh, it might take from like 2 to 3 minutes. Uh, it shouldn't be that long. And then uh, pretty, pretty much at this point you are welcome to a new custom ROM. Uh, set, up your, set up your Google account and voila! You are good. You are done. Uh, welcome to your new custom ROM. Uh, have every single, enjoy every bits and pieces of the new, new custom ROM you're having. 
and um, I hope to have a good time with your new custom ROM. Right. Um, also, at this point, you can check out my some other videos about MIUI EU or Havoc OS that just uh, done a few days ago. So check that out and like that video as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like this, like this, uh, just hit the like button down below. If you love it, hit the subscribe button uh, to support me and to keep up with all the new updates and new ROMs and new reviews and inter interesting videos about the Revenue 5. And uh, anyways, at this point, thank you and goodbye.